Let's work on the lesson. Compare numbers up to 10 million. Which number is larger? We're given number 38 and number 410. So with 38, I see that we have three tens and eight ones. In 410, I see that we have four hundreds, one ten and zero ones. So if we look at this number, 38 as tens and ones, we have one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. If we look at 410, we have four hundreds, one, two, three, four. We have one ten, and we have zero ones. I see that we do have more tens over here, but we have four hundreds here, and each hundred could be broken into ten tens. So I know by looking at this that 410 is the larger number because it has hundreds and this number does not. So 410 is the larger number. Now it says, which number is larger? 379 or 566? Well, now each of these numbers have hundreds, tens, and ones. So we need to figure out which one is larger. We start by looking at the number on the left. The number in the hundreds place will help us determine which number is larger. So this has three hundreds and this number has five hundreds. It does not matter which numbers are over here if this number is larger than this number in the hundreds place. All right, so the number on the left is the number that we look at first. So I see that five is greater than three, so 500 is greater than 300. So 566 is our larger number. Now we have, which number is larger, 912 or 923? Let's look at our number on the left, nine and nine. Ah, so they both have nine hundreds. So now we go to the next number over. Now we look at our tens place because that is the next largest place. So I see that we have one ten here and two tens here. So this is ten and this is twenty. So twenty is larger than ten, so I know nine hundred twenty-three is greater than nine hundred twelve. Here we have 988 and 96. Well, this has a nine in the hundreds place, and this has a nine in the tens place. Which one do you think is larger? Yes, 988, because there is a nine in the hundreds place, and this number does not have any hundreds. Here we have, which number is smaller? We're given 383, and 590. Now we're looking for the number that is smaller. All right, so our hundreds place here has a three because remember we look at the number on the left first and our hundreds place here is five. So this number has 500 and this number has 300, which has less. Yeah, 383 has less hundreds, therefore it is the smaller number. Here they ask which number is smaller. We have 713 and 550. Well again, I start on the left and I see, okay, there's seven hundreds in that number and five hundreds in this number. There are more hundreds in this number, so I know this number is greater. They want to know which number is smaller, so I will circle 550 because I know 550 is smaller. Here it asks, which number is smaller? We have 181, 216. Well, they both have hundreds, so let's see how many. This has 100, and this number has two hundreds. So I know the one with two hundreds has more hundreds, therefore it is the greater number. So the smaller number would be 181.
says, which number is smaller? We have 344 and we have 28. This number has hundreds, tens, and ones. This number just has tens and ones. There are no hundreds in this number. So this number is less than this one because this one has three hundreds and this one has no hundreds or zero hundreds. So 28 is the smaller number. Which number is smaller? Here we have 463 and here we have 96. Which one do you think is smaller? Yes, 96, because there are no hundreds in this number. We do have nine tens and six ones, but this number has four hundreds. So that is much larger than 96. So 96 is the smaller number. Which number is smaller? We have 680 or 523. Well, I see both numbers have hundreds, tens, and ones. So let's look on the left. Let's look at our hundreds place first. Six hundreds or five hundreds? Which one is smaller? Yes, five hundred. So 523 is the smaller number. Fantastic work.